this study looks for the first time at sexual outcomes among men and women who've had a heart attack in the first month after their heart attack. And what we find here in looking specifically at younger men and women is that very few uh, receive counseling from a physician about resuming their sexual activity. And among the minority who do, most are given restrictive recommendations like limit the amount of sex you have, take a more passive role, keep your heart rate down. And there's simply no evidence to support those kinds of restrictions. Although these patients were sexually active before their heart attacks, they weren't counseled on what to do afterwards. They were active before. They had clearly said that this was an important part of their quality of life and something that they valued. And they were also open to having their physicians discuss it, and yet it wasn't being discussed in the clinics. We're not clear on why doctors are giving restrictive recommendations when they do talk to patients about heart attack. It may be that they really don't want their patients to be harmed, and so if they're going to discuss the issue, they're acting in a paternalistic or a protective way. The problem with this is that patients can feel then scared, and it's probably unfounded. From our earlier work, we saw that people who did resume sexual activity after a heart attack were less likely to die within a year of their heart attack than people who didn't resume sexual activity. So the myth that sex will trigger another fatal heart attack is disproven by this work. I think relieving that fear and anxiety is the first thing that we can do. Counseling them that it's actually considered mild to moderate physical intensity, um, not high intensity, and that if as long as they are feeling well about a week after their heart attack, um, that they can do daily kind of mild to moderate intensity physical activity, walking upstairs, doing normal activities, and they feel okay, then it's all right to go back to the activity that they had before. If you're a patient who has had a heart attack and you've not received this counseling through a physician, I want to encourage you to just ask outright. Ask your doctor, is it okay for me to resume sex? When can I resume? And what do I need to look for? What kinds of problems should concern me? The study found that most times it was the patient that initiated the discussion. And I have to say that's what I found in my own practice. It's usually the patient who says at the end of the visit, doc, by the way, there's one more thing that's bothering me and then brings it up. And I think the key is that it's clearly something that is important to patients and they're okay with doctors initiating it. I wish we didn't have to put the burden on the patient who's had a heart attack to have the courage to raise these issues. But the truth is, if patients start advocating for themselves, doctors will follow. The door will be open for conversation. And doctors will realize they better pull together the knowledge they need to respond to these kinds of questions for men and women, for older patients and younger patients. This is the way change will occur.